Welcome back to the vlog, y'all. As usual, to my OGs, what's up? To you newbies, thank you so much for coming. To all of you, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for spending your time with me in the garden. Today, we're going to do something really quick. I'm trying to avoid my spider friend up here, and hopefully I can show her to you. But I need to get in this garden bed. The armadillo has been wreaking havoc back here. <clears throat> But I need to get back here and cut this tomato plant down. It has finally fallen. It looks like my spider friend is up high enough where I won't bother her with. So here we go. As usual, I'm doing a few things before I get to that. I'm harvesting this uh, baby's breath here. And I want to harvest this Ao Shiso which it looks like it has seeded itself in all over right here. But I do want to get, see if I can collect some of the seed. And it does have quite a bit of seed because I didn't get to eat any of this. It just grew. Oh yeah, I see plenty of seed. Ao Shiso is in uh culinary herb um it was like advertised as like an asian culinary herb the smell is very um savory it it almost has like a meaty smell to it and so i'm interested to taste it maybe even try to grow some during winter inside but that's for another thing but I see I have just a ton of sprouts back here. The spider had her web down here, so I didn't pull around down here. But since she's moved up, I have some space. Here's the AO Shiso seed pods. And if you look down here, you see all kinds of seedlings. These are weeds. But right here is seedlings. And I'm wondering if that's the A.O. Shiso or the mum. To see this spider on film. There she is. So she's just a orb weaver garden spider. And I don't want her to touch me and I don't want to touch her. So, I'm going to get in here and get this tomato hacked down quickly. 
I don't want to get into it with her. She don't want to get into it with me. We're kind of, you know, cool like that. So I checked to make sure her web didn't come over here before I started fooling around. And I'm just cutting this tomato plant out. I'm watching myself as I talk to you guys. But my goal is just to take this tomato plant out of here so the peas can come up. I've got the whole tomato plant. I'm just gonna toss it. Oh, you guys are falling. I got you. And that lets me see how many carrots I have growing back here. It's not very many. So, I think I may need to come in here and sow some more carrots because I don't see a bunch growing like I would like. All right, y'all, I looked through my seeds and it looks like I've planted all of my carrots, which is a bummer. So I'm just gonna plant spinach. I'm gonna remove this weed over here this is taking up a whole big bed um, everywhere next year in this pot so what i want to do in that back bed is sorry in that back bed i want to plant the remaining bunching onions i have and i'd like to plant some up here as well I have some lettuce. I think this is Black Seeded Simpson. They came in right here. And uh, it came in pretty densely. But it's just some nice tender baby greens. But I really just want to, I want to sow these red onions. So I'm going to take a look back here. And I do have space amongst the carrots. All right, so I just want to sow onions in the middle right here. And I guess on back, I have some baby carrots that I just turned over. I'm gonna plant these guys back. I don't have many carrots, so I'm trying to be careful. But I want to sew in a few onions and see if I can finally get some onions to come up. If not, I'll have to wait till spring. And then I'm just gonna fertilize back there. I'm also gonna sow some, the remaining uh, bunching onions, Italian red of Florence in here. Cause why not? So I'm just going to sew them around the foot here. I'm going to sew it in this pot as well. But I'm going to sew it around the outer edge. I have quite a bit of it. I'm not going to sew it too heavily. Just pulled up flowers. I'm gonna sow a bit of Bloomsdale spinach. See if I can get it to pop up. And I'm going to just sow spinach since my carrots died. And that was me and lack of watering. I know the spider, she won't be here once it freezes, but the spinach will. So I'm gonna sow some spinach. I 
This shit smells like onions over here. And I'm going to fertilize in. Oh, because there are onions right here. <laughs> Okay guys, let's briefly talk fish emulsion. This is my go-to fertilizer, aside from the composted chicken manure that I purchased from the local nursery. This fish emulsion, I like the Alaska brand, and I just get it from Azure Standard when I order from them. It's a 511, so that is 5% nitrogen, 1% phosphate, and 1% pop potash and I'll put what each of those do on the screen for your plants. This stuff gets right down in the soil and it benefits the soil microbes. The way you see me using it isn't how the instructions say to use it. They only use two tablespoon to three tablespoon but because this won't burn I find that for me it's just easier to just spray it, turn the sprinkler on and let it water it in. So that is my brief fish plant food or um uh yeah, Alaska Fish Fertilizer. It's my go-to fertilizer all year long. I even use it very diluted in the house, maybe a teaspoon to um, a gallon of water so it doesn't stink because it really does smell like you're cleaning fish like by a lake. The Lord bless and keep you and make his face shine upon you. Until next time.